kid. You watch Mr. Rogers, right? Yeah. What was one of his favorite songs he used to sing? Who are the people in your neighborhood? And he would introduce you to the mailman and the trolley and all those other individuals, right? And you got to know who each one of them were. Now, as a kid, you do that often, right? Like when you were younger, you'd get on your bike or you'd walk around the neighborhood, and when somebody else new moved in, what did you do? <coughs> Especially if they had kids, right? You were right there, you wanted to meet the new kid. Okay? So here's the question. Think about this today. How does that relate to you today? You want to meet people, right? You want to network, you want to get to know people, you want to make connections. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're, ne that we're just talking about people as much as we are also talking about corporations. Let me give you an example. Um, Paul, is there a company that you would like to know or work with? Yes. Who? Uh, Coriatel Labs. Coriatel Labs. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about who that is and what they do? Uh, they're, an they're an engineering company that designed the, the PCB boards for Verizon. So okay. All right. Let me ask you a question. Does anybody in this room know anybody who might be able to put Paul in contact with that particular company? Raise your hand. No? Do you think you know anybody? Raise your hand. Anybody who knows anybody who is an engineer who might know somebody who might be able to put them in contact with that? Nobody? What's the name of the company again? Tell Labs. Corey Paul gave me a bad example. Let's try again. <laughs> Yes. I can answer the second question. I know many engineers. Got it. From my prior work experience, who may know someone in Tel Labs. Got it. Let's try this again. Who wants to work with McDonald's? Man, raise your hand. <laughs> right? Who, does, who wants to work with McDonald's? How many people in this room right now know somebody or works with McDonald's? Raise your hand. How many people in this room knew that? No. That is the problem today with networking. We click a button, we meet somebody, but do we really know anything about them? You know, you remember that game back in the day that we played probably in college with lots of drinks, that Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon game? <laughs> the one where it says you have to pick a, a star or somebody and you have to connect them to Kevin Bacon? Well, we started playing that game a little differently. It was connecting one person to another person within six degrees. And I'll never forget the first time when I was playing that game, and somebody said to me, okay, how about you and Bill Clinton? I said, well, that's not possible. And a friend of mine sat there and said, oh, yes it is. I said, no, I don't know anybody who knows Bill Clinton. I said, oh, really? Doesn't your neighbor donate to the Democratic Party? Well, yeah. Didn't you say he knows that guy, Wilhelm, who's a speech writer? Yeah. Doesn't he write for Bill Clinton? Yes. Did we just connect you with four people to Bill Clinton? <laughs> but I don't know Bill Clinton. Right. But now you're a lot closer than you were before weren't you? There are a lot of people in this room who are closer to people than they think they are. And that is something that we're not taking advantage of. I'll give you an example. Some of you people may know a friend of mine named, by the name of Barbara Beckley. Barbara is a huge Lisa Nichols fan. Okay? And she's like, I really want to talk to Lisa Nichols. And I said, okay. And I told her this, and she said, that's a bunch of bunk. There isn't anybody I know who knows Lisa Nichols. I said, okay, let's look at your friend list. And I pointed somebody out. And one of the names was somebody she had worked with for a Toastmasters Leadership Institute, where she had brought them in as a keynote presenter. She's like, but Jeff, I don't really know that person. I said, didn't you work with him for weeks? Yeah. Didn't he know you by name? Sure. Don't you think that he might recognize you? He did connect with you on Facebook. Oh, Jeff, everybody connects with everybody on Facebook. And you hear that a lot, right? But did she know someone? Did she know somebody? She did. We'll take it a step further. She was working with 
something called the Women's Prosperity Network. And she had people who she was working with who were her bosses. And I couldn't help but notice that one of them was connected to Lisa Nichols. So I said, well, maybe you should ask. And she said, she called me back the next day. She's like, I hate you. <laughs> I said, why do you hate me? She said, because I called my boss. And the next thing she says, what do you want to tell her? One step. We do not realize how close we are to people. It's a small world, and it's getting smaller every day. Who are the people in your neighborhood? We talked about it tonight. Shock talked about it, about Windy City, about all the people here and who you're connected with. Look at the example that I gave with McDonald's. How many people raise their hand that they want to work at McDonald's? How many people in this room knew somebody or worked with somebody who does work at McDonald's? Why are we not taking advantage of that? Why are you not taking advantage of that? Conversely, as I said, it's a small world. You've got to be careful with that. In the 90s, I worked in broadcast radio. And one of the most popular people in broadcast radio was a woman named the Fabulous Sports Babe. Let me tell you a hint. She didn't look so fabulous. <laughs> and she definitely wasn't a babe. Because I'd seen pictures of her. I didn't really necessarily like her. So I started well, in my 20s, what do you want me to do? I called her the Fabulous Sports Blog. Actually, I called her the Flatulous Sports Blog. <laughs> and I used to make the joke, the little, the little jingle. She's flatulous, you know. Um, now, fast forward a couple months later, I'm out in San, in San Jose, California for the NHL All-Star Game. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to a fellow media person, and we're talking in general about people, and I make this little joke about she's flatulous, and everybody laughs, and he said to me, Jeff, you better be careful about stuff like that. I said, what do you mean? He said, you never know when it can get back to somebody. I said, oh, come on, it's me, you, and this person. Who here knows the fabulous sports bit? And he looked at me and said, I do. <laughs> so like I said, who are the people in your neighborhood? Find it, be careful about it, cultivate those abuses, and get to know your connections. It's a small world. Rachel Rogers taught us right. Connect with your neighbor.